today, not by choice, we get to install a new turbo on the truck. This is what I was running. It's a hybrid HX40 H1C something or other. I'm not quite sure. I uh, got it from Will. And as you can see, let's see if we get some light here. As you can see, the compressor wheel's pretty chewed. The bearing's no good. I bought an H1C to put on it for the time being. That didn't go so well. So, we're gonna do an S300. Now, I wasn't able to find a lot of information on S300 installs on 6.5s. Um, there's, I think, only a handful of people that have done them. Um, so, I'm gonna kinda have to figure it out as we go. But, um, it's a S300, uh, not an SS, SXE, it's the regular SX3. Um, it's a box turbo, so there's really nothing too special about it. It's a 6068 with an 091 AR, um, T4 non-gated. Um, in comparison, the whole set was a 60, 60, 16 non-gated. Um, so I'm hoping for similar performance from the Borg. Um, and uh, so let's get started. So as you can see, obviously the old turbo's already out. Um, we are gonna have to figure something out on the intake side of things because I had it set up for the whole set. Um, this is the downpipe adapter that Kyle made. And I have a flange that we're going to have to weld onto here. Uh, this is a 3-inch pipe, and I think the new flange is 3.5, so we're going to have to figure something out there. Um, and I'm not sure what we're going to do yet about the oil feed and oil drain. I'm hoping they're the same, but we will find out. All right, so we're not very far into this. We've already hit a snag, which is this is our, our BD... T3, T4 adapter plate, and it's going to go on something like something like this. And what you'll see is that when we use the supplied Allen head bolts, there's like no threads to grab on the back side of the manifold. So what we're going to do here is bring one of these bolts with us to the hardware store, and we are going to get longer ones. Now the next thing, because I don't, I don't want to go to the hardware store too many times today, is for our oil drain. This is the one that I had been using on the whole set, and I just checked, and it looks like it's going to line up here with the board. Um, <clears throat> however, uh, the hardware is going to be different, so I got to figure out what bolts we need there, and uh, go get them. So we went to the hardware store and I picked up some bolts. Uh, these are M10 by 150s. I forget exactly how long I got them, but uh, one thing I'll just point out is uh, this is the factory bolt that comes with it. And you'll notice it's a low profile head. Uh, the ones that I got at the hardware store were just conventional heads. So you'll see I had to grind those down quite a bit. Um, fortunately, the you know, it's okay having it on this side, I feel like. It's a 516 Allen key. Um, you know, if it was on the back side where it would be hard to grip, then, you know, putting the Allen head there with such little surface area to grab onto would be kind of sketchy. But with it being on top where the access is good, I feel pretty good about it. So I'm just going to go ahead and tighten um, the bolts up there, or the nuts rather, and then we'll get ready to prep the turbo to drop in. So this is how the turbo comes out of the box. Um, I don't believe it's really set up for anything like this. I think it's just kind of how they ship them. So our end goal, I'll use these ones to demonstrate because it'll be easier. So assuming that up and down is up and down, we're going to need to have the exhaust housing on a slight angle. And then we're going to need to have so that our oil drain is directly down and our oil fill is on top. So that means we're going to have to loosen these up and maybe not but potentially the exhaust housing also and uh, just kind of flip things around. Alright so here's a just a rough mock-up of where it's going to be. 
um, I had to adjust it a little bit further. Now, what you can see here is that the oil fill and the center bearing housing is not really up and down the way we want it. So what that means is we got to loosen four of these bolts here that's going to allow us to kind of clock that center section um, and which is in turn going to affect where the compressor housing is. So I'm going to go ahead and loosen these guys up, get the center section where I want it, get this where I want it, snug everything, pull it back off, tighten it down on the bench, um, and then figure out how we're going to plumb the uh, oil feed. And you can see here, the downpipe is going to be tight. Tight like a toyga. Okay, so all the different housings and center sections and everything are all clocked the way I want them. Everything's tightened down. So the next thing we got to do is install the oil drain fitting. Now these bolts are uh, coarse 3 8 to 3 8 by 16, which I was kind of expecting it to be metric, but so far everything on this seems to be standard. Uh, the turbo did come with a drain gasket, so I'll definitely use that. So I'm just going to go ahead and get that on there. All right, so it's mostly in as far as the plumbing and stuff is concerned. It's bolted in. This bolt here, this nut, was a real bitch, so I had to undo these four um, retainer bolts here, separate the turbo again so I could get a wrench in there. Um, so now I just got to fill it up with oil, put my uh, feed line on it, and then we can try and start this thing and check for leaks. everyone thanks for watching so far um, as you can see I'm in the truck right now making my initial test drive um, I will uh, I'm gonna do a part two to this video just to keep them both kind of manageable time wise um, to just show the completed install uh, maybe some driving clips and so on um, and uh, you know offer a couple suggestions as far as turbo choices if there's people watching this that are on the fence about which one to go with so thanks for watching. Keep an eye out for part two. Have a happy Thanksgiving.